to today's theme is integrating God in your business. When you conceptualize what it is that you want to do, then we say that uh, it is impossible to think about a business where God is not in the matrix. I want you to think, each one of us as choir members, think of yourself as a, as a, a scientific theory, studying on its own. And all of you as theories come together. Then we need to ask, who is making things possible in this world? And that is where scientists who, who were aligned to the, thought of, to the thought of the divine. At some point then they posited that it is true. There is a force that we are not able to get to. And that force, I want to give the answer today, that force is God. He is the writer of the music. He is the conductor of the orchestra. He is the owner of the music. That is important. Those of you who write and sing, there's something we call patenting. When you have your product, then you make it yours. Then there is kunaisha sheria about ina 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 fuatiria hayo. God is the owner. So when God is the owner, because he will not come and do business like we would do, what does God do? God places business dreams in the hearts of men and women. Many of us have received this dream from God. Many a times we are in doubt and we ask many questions. Have I been called? Remember, if God places callings in the hearts of preachers, in the hearts of many other professionals, prophets, you can, you can be able to mention them, the same he does to all those people. He will place a dream in your heart. But now the question is, how do I know that the dream I have is from God? So I want to take you through the seven ways that you can know that uh, the dream you have is from God to start your business. Number one, eh? when God places a dream in your heart, you will always find out that um, you cannot do it alone. So when God puts a dream in your heart, he also sends you destiny changers, people to help you. Because we say in number one that there is no way humanly possible for you to do it alone. Remember he is the driver, he is the writer, he is the conductor. God gives destiny changers in your way. You realize that you had a dream of starting, for example, a salon. From nowhere, from nowhere, this was your dream between you and God. From nowhere, your uncle comes home calling. Or maybe calls on, on phone. And asks, tells you, by the way, what would you want to do? And you know when, when, when it is a voice from God, you don't think twice. When God puts a dream in you, automatically he gets you somebody. And when the person comes, there is a certain special trigger. The special trigger reminds you that, oh yes, I had a dream. How comes that my uncle is only coming when the dream is live? Your uncle did not come. Your uncle was brought. Maybe... You have friends, and they told you that uh, they tried to apply a certain loan in some, in some bank, and they never went through. And then when you had a dream, maybe you even share with them, 
And this will be in part, part of number two. And then they can, they'll ask you, um, ah, you, you, that bank, that bank does not give loans. But anyway, you can go try. Unaigia kwa bank, no question, in 30 minutes, you go home with a loan. And then they ask you, how did it happen? You tell them, no, me, I thought, people go to the bank, they ask for a loan, it is either declined or given. Me, I was given. Then they ask you, how? That is where now you tell them, because I am not doing my business. This is what we said early in the morning. Because I am intending to do God's business. Oh, okay. Because when we are advancing the dream of God, he is the one in charge. He will, he will go ahead of you in the bank. You get a loan where nobody else has gotten a loan. Somebody would say that, no, for them, if you go to that shama, that shama can only give you 100K. But then for you, you are saying, no, my business is 2 million. You go there, you present your dream and your, your concept, and the shama leaders ask you, eh, this dream of yours can even attract 3 million. And then the others would be asking, what happened? But you see, when people are away from God, they will never understand how God works. And you know there comes a time when you don't explain yourself. When it is God doing it, you don't explain. Unasema nienda kwa bank, nikapewa loan, na niko na loan, naeda biashara. Kwa niko nini? And then they are asking, how did it happen? God's way, number two. You don't have the answers at all. For all the steps ahead, but he has the answers. When you are starting the business, if in your business you have all the answers of the questions you have, chances are you are doing a family business. Chances are that is a clan business you are doing. A dream from God, there will always be black spots, gray areas where God comes and feels. Alone, you agonize with the questions. Then he comes in and offers an answer instantly. Because you feel unsure. When you are unsure, there is one who is very sure because this is his business. This is his establishment. It is his way. Number three. When you tell people about your dream, they can't believe, believe you. They are always old. They are old. They are filled with the awe. Ay, can that really work? You tell them, yes, it will work. Are you sure? You tell them, it is not mine. When it is God doing it, what is humanly impossible becomes possible with God. If you have a business idea and everybody is doubting you, Please know that is God's dream. What you need to do is now to have a proper conversation with the owner, the conductor of the, of the orchestra. Let him tell you, my daughter, this, these are the steps. Where there are doubts, you'll be clearing them slowly by slowly as you advance in executing the dream that God has put in your heart. <laughs> 